Sky with Smart Poker Study here, and I'm going to show you how to run a villain's hands report in Poker Tracker 4. Now, this is great for when you want to review hands that you weren't involved in. For example, Daniel sent me a request. He's a listener of mine. He wanted to see hands where his opponent, the villain, calls a flop C bet holding two pair or sets. Now, in the normal statistics tab, you can't filter for what your opponents hold. You can only filter for your actions and the cards that you hold. But this is how you do it for your opponents. So whip open Poker Tracker 4 and follow along with me. First off, go to the View Stats and then My Reports, as you can see. Step one, click New Report and then choose the Hand Report. Hand Report. Now up here, give the report a name. I'm naming this one Villains Hands Report. Nice and simple. Hit Finish. And now it gives you the basic report with the layout right here. There's all these whole cards because this is still my own personal database of hands that it's looking at. We need to run a few more filters. First off, you want to go to filters and then click on add new expressions filter. That's this little filters down here. Add new expression filters. And you're going to deselect filter on active player. Now that means it's going to go through every player in your database, yourself and all of your opponents. We'll click OK. And so now as you can see, the whole cards change. And this is interesting. This is one hand right here. But we had one, two, three, four, five players dealt into the hand that saw this flop. The five different players were the eight, five, seven, five, and king nine. I held the king nine folded right there, but we can see, if we actually just show known whole cards, we can see the other two players' cards because these hands went to showdown. But this player who folded and this one who folded, we never got to see what they had because they didn't make it to showdown. We know my card, we know the two showdown players' cards. What Daniel wanted to see, and why this is called the villain's hand report, we want to remove all of our hands. We don't want those hands clouding the report. So go to filters again, and now add simple filter. Filters, add new, simple filters right here. Player is not hero, is what you want to do. And the reason for this is now we can remove all of our hands when we rerun this report, that king nine is going to be gone. So, hand details, player is hero. Turn that on, add that to filter, now highlight it and hit not. See that king nine is now gone, right? We're just not seeing my hand, but we're seeing the other player's hands. The reason why we're running it here is because we want it to be built into this final report because anything that you put in this filter, it overrides these quick filters. If you want the report to always contain certain filters, add them to the simple filters like you just saw me do. So now this report is always going to have that aspect that it's not going to show hero's hands, only your villain's hands. Now go ahead and click save. And then boom, this report is now saved in your database. You'll always have it to pull up right here. Now the next thing, you want to run various filters. Now if Daniel wants this report to always contain villain calls a seabed on the flop, holding two pair or set, he would add these filters here under simple filters. But... What we can do at this point is whatever we filter for. For example, a three bet preflop. We're only gonna see hands where our opponents made three bets preflop and these pocket queens, ace queen and queen jack, those are the only ones that got to showdown where the player made the three bet. So let's go ahead and hit clear filter. So like I said, you can now filter for any of your opponent's various actions. But let's filter for specifically like Daniel wanted to see, villain calls a flop seabet holding two pair or a set. So more filters, actions and opportunities, flop, flop calls, call the c-bet. Add it to filter, save and apply filter. You can see I already have it saved as a quick filter, but boom, now we have all the hands where our villain, one of our opponents, called a c-bet. Some of the hands, of course, got to showdown. We see that he called with ace-jack, two overs, plus a flush draw. This hand right here, somebody called, but we never saw what he had because it didn't get to showdown. He bet and then folded on the next street. But let's continue adding some aspects here for Daniel. More filters. Add filter. Hand values. Made hands. This is where you can set your various actual made hands, high card all the way down through uh, straight flushes. But we want to go to two pair. 
Now, this is interesting. Made two pair, we're talking specifically on the flop here. And any two pair, let's turn that on. You can see right now, we actually have two filters turned on. Let's add it to filter. Now, if we run this as is, let me show you what'll happen. Made two pair on flop or made two pair using two whole cards. Save and apply. Now what we're going to see is, look at this is a two pair, sevens and fours. That's not necessarily what we want to see. He wants to see specifically hands like this, deuce three and the deuce three right here, making two pair, not a pair on the board with another pair. So we'll go back to more filters. Let me show you what you do. When you run these made hand filters, it turns on, like I said, those two aspects of the filter, highlight it, hit ungroup. Now we just deselect the made two pair on flop. That's going to get rid of this pocket sevens and pocket fours. Let me show you. We haven't finished the filter because we don't have the set yet. But what I often do when I'm building filters is I run them. I save and I apply the filters to see how things are progressing to make sure I'm on the right track. Save and apply filters. Awesome. That pocket sevens with the fours is gone. We're left with five, three, two pair, queen, eight, two pair, deuce, three, two pair as well. Now you might be saying, Sky, that's only three hands to review. It's not a lot. That's true, but remember, your opponent's called probably with two pairs and sets a thousand times in your entire database in your history, but it's only going to come back with hands where we actually saw that they called on the flop with the two pair or with the set. So it's only going through showdown hands. We'll go back to more filters. Let's add filter, hand values, made hands. We're looking at three of a kind or sets. Now, made three of a kind on the flop, any set, turn them on. Once again, we've got two separate filters put together. You see the or right here. So we'll highlight that and hit ungroup. Now we don't want just three of a kind on the flop. We don't want to see a deuce, deuce, deuce flop and our opponent holds ace, queen. We don't want that. We want sets specifically. So cancel that out. Now, right now, do not hit save and apply filters. I'm going to show you what happens. What do you think we'll get when we run this filter? Made a C bet any two pair and flop to set. Yep, you guessed it. There's nothing that pops up. No hands because it's impossible to flop a set and to flop a two pair hand. More filters. What you'll do now is highlight both of these. So hit the control key on your keyboard, select one, control, select the other, and now hit or. Now we've got it. Call to see bet, two pair or a set. Save and apply filters. Boom, now we have all the hands right here. And uh, this is we're looking specifically at just this month where my opponents called on the flop when they hit two pair. And we can see it's accurate. Five, three, two pair, a set of deuces, queen eight, and deuce three, that two pair as well. So remember, you're running quick filters over here, but whatever filters you put into the existing simple filters, they will override these aspects down here. What I recommend is just building out the report like we set up here and then run your various quick filters to see the different kinds of hands, the different plays your opponents made and the hands that they held when they made those plays. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.